In this video, we're going to add some coins uh, to the Mario game. So the first thing we're going to do is I need a sound effect for the coin um, because coin doesn't really do much. All that happens is a collision. And so a sound effect is really vital in this. Uh, so I'm going to call it sound coin. And in the folder called Mario Sounds, um, you'll see that we have uh, the sound of a coin. You want to hear it? This is what it sounds like. Which is a nice sound for getting a coin. Okay, uh, we're also going to need a sprite for the coin. So I'm going to create a sprite and, and watch this. It's uh, a little trick here. Um, so I'll call it Sprite Coin. And I'll click the Edit Sprite. And you know how we've made sprites from strips? Uh, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to create it from a strip. And the strip I'm going to use is actually our tile set. If you look at our tile set that we've been using uh, for this game, it's a lovely 16 by 16 tile set. And so I can select it. And there's some animated objects in here, uh, such as a coin. And I'll show you how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say there's four images, four images per row. And what I can do is I can, and there's a, uh, a separation of one pixel in between. Okay. So it's a 16 by 16. The width and height are 16 by 16. And there's four images and all four in one row. So what I do uh, with one pixel in between, what I can do is I can click on and you'll see the little box that it made and I can click on that box. It's going to do four of these. So if I want to do a question mark uh, that changes, I could do that. Um, if I wanted to do a pow, pow would only be three. So I would only need to do three uh, musical notes, um, some sort of thing going there. Uh, but you'll see here I've got a coin. And there's four sequences of coins. So I'm just going to line it up just so and press OK. And let's take a preview. And we see the preview uh, looks lovely. Looks like the coin is spinning. And that's how the coins were in the Mario game that I want. Great. So I've got my sprite for coins. Uh, we don't need to have precision collision checking, nor do we need to preload the texture. So sprite coin, I edit it by creating from stripe. Uh, strip, create from strip, and we use the tile set uh, in this one. Okay, let's make the object. So I went quickly over that, but I presume that you know how to make sprites and how to make uh, sounds. Okay, the important part, create object. So this is going to be an object called a coin. We'll give it the sprite of the coin. And the only event that it needs to have is a collision with Mario. That's the only thing it does. It collides with Mario. And when it collides with Mario, the score is going to be <coughs> 10 points relative. So we'll get 10 points for getting it. A sound effect is going to play. So we'll go to main one. And we'll add the sound effect of that lovely coin sound we just added. And then finally, we need to destroy ourselves because we don't need a coin anymore. You, you hit the coin, you got the points, you played the sound. That's all the coin does. Great. Simple as that. We put the coins in our room and I'll test it out. So let's put some coins up here and maybe a coin. And we do that to, to make it so uh, Mario might try to do different things. And eventually when we have uh, lives and health, we could, we could even have a variable called coins that could keep track of how many coins we have. So let's test it out and see that it works and see if there's any modifications that we need to make for it. So here's Mario. And looks good.